Hi, this is Alan McCagliano, Associate Professor of History at Campbell University, a former Merchant Mariner and an adjunct professor of Maritime Industry Policy at the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy. And it appears we've had a collision in the Malacca Straits. So on this episode of What's Going On with Shipping, we're going to talk about an incident that just took place today in the Malacca Straits between a container ship, the Zephyr Luminos, and a bulker, the Galapagos. This is the information that just came out from the Malaysian Coast Guard and the Malaysian Coast Guard on Twitter is probably the best sources to be following on this. They're reporting the collision here between Zephyr Luminos, which is a um, container ship, and the bulk carrier Galapagos, about 14.1 nautical miles southwest of Kuala Sungi Muir this morning. A uh, distress call was received and vessels responded out to the site. Series of uh, messages and, and reports from it. This is from Maritime Bulletin talking about the area right here, talking about the collision between the two vessels right there between Singapore and Port Dixon, which is at the northern end of the Straits of Malacca. For those of you who don't know, the Straits of Malacca is a narrow passageway between the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea in Singapore. And a large percentage of the world ship transit through this area. Very tight, very busy, as I'll show you in a second. And collisions in these narrow seaways are not unusual. Uh, this is the report here by Fleetmon, kind of following exactly what was posted there in Merchant Shipping. We see the same types of incident. These are the vessels involved. This is Zephyr Luminos right here, big container ship, brand new, as a matter of fact, just built this year. Uh, she is uh, right now at anchor in the Malacca Straits. She is believed to be the vessel that actually collided with the Galapagos. In other words, her bow went into the starboard side of the Galapagos. She was en route from Singapore heading for the Suez Canal. She is operated by Zodiac Mar Maritime. She uh, leases these vessels out. Uh, she's one of those NOOs. Uh, and this is the vessel right here. You'll see built right here in 2021, 15,000 TEU, about 366 meters in length, smaller than vessels like Ever Given, but still a substantial size vessel. The other vessel involved here is this one here. This is the Galapagos, a bulk carrier. She was en route from Australia heading to India, and it is believed to be her. According to the Malaysian Coast Guard, she suffered a steering failure. Uh, both these vessels were heading the same way. They were both heading northwest in the Malacca Straits, heading toward the Indian Ocean. And it's believed when the Galapagos lost her steering gear, she veered hard right into the channel and was substantially T-boned by the Zephyr Luminos. Uh, the vessel, the Galapagos here, a little bit older, built in 2010, so 11 years old, 76,000 deadweight tons, a substantial size vessel. These are some images right here. This is Galapagos right now. She's showing herself as not under command, under marine traffic. She's adrift uh, right now in the channel. She's basically between the two lanes of traffic, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, that's her right after the collision. She was right there. You can see that turn she took right there where she kind of came across. This is Zephyr Luminos. Again, she's at anchor right now. She's outside the traffic separation scheme after the collision, which you can see take place right there, the red part there. She was able to back away and head out, out of the traffic separation scheme to get out of traffic, whereas Galapagos is still in it. That's her right there. You can see her kind of uh, jammed in there. Uh, I'm going to go over here to Galapagos, actually. Let's go ahead and pull her up. So everybody can see again, our buddies at Marine Traffic, always uh, uh, the site I like to use. I think it's the best one out there for providing information. There's a lot of other ones out there too you can use. But this one tends to, uh, for me, have the, the best kind of uh, real time information on it here. So, sorry, I am traveling this week. So my internet connection is a little bit slower there. But here you'll see her loading up right now. Let's go ahead and get this layers out of the way. We'll go ahead and zoom out here a minute for you. 
So if you can imagine one of the most heavily trafficked areas in the world, it's this. It's the Straits of Malacca. It is the area between Singapore and the, and the Indian Ocean, and you'll see why. This over here is the entrance into Singapore. Singapore is right here. And then straight up here is the Straits of Malacca. And Galapagos is right here, right now. I'll zoom in here for a second. There we go. There's Galapagos right there. You'll show her she's not under command right there. She's in between the traffic separation scheme. There's a what's called a uh, kind of lanes of traffic here. So the north east to south, uh, excuse me, northwest to southeast, right here is more on the southern side, whereas the southeast to northwest is more on this side. So she's right here. She's trying to get in between this traffic separation scheme. She's got a tug with her right now. They're probably trying to get her out of the separation scheme and get her at least in the middle for right now until they can get more tugs on her and get her out. This right here is Zephyr Luminos. She's up here at anchor. You'll see her showing an anchor right there. So she's up here at anchor and uh, she's out of the scheme right now and gotten out of the way. Uh, let's take a look at some of the images here we have for her. That was Galapagos earlier. I grabbed these uh, screen pics earlier right here. So this is the damage to the side of the Galapagos uh, you'll see why that damage is so significant here as we go through these pictures. You see in this image here where Zephyr Luminos basically rammed into the starboard side there, you can see the damage to her bow. This is her at anchor after the damage, see the anchor out right there. They're probably going to assess, uh, she has a large bulbous bow underneath there, bow thrusters, so they're probably assessing damage right now on the vessel. Whereas Galapagos, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit, give you a little better image here of, of, of her right there. She was hit about amidships in here. She's a heavily loaded bulker. You can see she's down to her marks, loaded. She's coming out of Australia, so that probably means iron ore, minerals of some kind. She's now been holed pretty substantially. Again, go back to this image right here. She's been holed pretty substantially. So she's got to worry about structural damage. Uh, you're adding water into compartments full of ore. That means she's getting heavier amidships. Her structural integrity has been compromised. Uh, there is a potential danger for this vessel to crack and break in half. And so salvage of this vessel is going to be very meticulous. They got to be very careful with this. And that's why you see them moving fairly slow with this. That's the damage. Her hull has been punctured. She's been basically compromised now in the integrity of the vessel. You actually will have a situation here, believe it or not, where ore may be spilling out of the vessel, being replaced by water. That's going to create buoyancy issues and unknown stresses on the vessel. Uh, and more importantly, you're also having an oil spillage right now. Uh, oil uh, fuel for the vessel is dumping right now into the Malacca Straits. So a lot going on with this. Uh, this is the image here again from the very beginning. You can see the bow of Zephyr Luminos implanted right across the midship section there of the Bulker Galapagos. Uh, it was pretty substantial hit. You imagine that uh, Zephyr Luminos was doing probably anywhere between 15 to 20 knots. So that's a lot of force coming at you. Uh, the damage to Galapagos is, is severe. There'll be a question about the integrity of the vessel. Can they salvage the vessel? Uh, they need to get her out of the channel and get her to someplace safe where she's not a hazard to navigation, because right now that is what she is. Uh, I recommend if you want to follow this, of course, you can follow the major news so sources, uh, G Captain, uh, Splash 24 7, and others out there. But more importantly, I would probably tell you to follow right now, is, and what I'm following right now, is, is the Malaysian Coast Guard. Uh, they're right on top of this. They're posting updates as it goes on. So I'll keep you posted as more information comes out about this. Uh, if you enjoyed this video and you, you like learning about shipping, then subscribe to my channel. Uh, what's going on with shipping talks about what's going on in shipping. We try to hit the major events as they happen and give you some detailed analysis on what's happening. It's nowhere near the definitive answer. Uh, investigations into these things take months, if not years. But go ahead, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about when new videos come up and give it a thumbs up so others on YouTube can find it. And also please share it so others uh, across your social media platforms can share it. So this is Sal signing off.